What's up guys and welcome back to another video. This is the day one of the Deadman Mode $20,000 tournament. We're getting right into it. So my plan right off the beginning was to go rush the 10k like everybody else. Then go get my starter kit because they have starter kits for this tournament. And then it was uh, my plan was to get I think it was like 50 range. And we were going to go I were going to go PK right away. We we're going to go lock down the pyramid, kill anybody who wasn't with us and just let everybody else just camp the pyramid, get loads of money. We'd train up by killing the people doing the pyramid. So yeah, that was the plan. We went and got our 10k and we went to the pyramid and started PKN right away. So right in the beginning, just to get PK ready, I went and got myself 50 range and whatever prayer levels I could get. I wanted to get overheads ideally before going to the pyramid so we could sort of bully people out because if they saw overheads that early in the game, they probably wouldn't even try to fight back. But unfortunately that wasn't reality. Green dragons are just a little too slow so I just had to train on some lower level stuff and we got up to 50 range. Now after that, obviously, to use the pyramid, you need to be 30 agility anyway. So we went and beasted out 30 agility really quickly. It wouldn't take that long. And we actually got our food from the gnome stronghold, like food place, all those pre-made chocolate bombs and stuff like that. They all heal 12 each, which is actually pretty good for the price they came at. So we bought a couple of those, 50, uh, 30 agility and 50 range with like, I don't know, we had like 20 defense. And it was time to go PKing right away and start making the early money. So as you guys can see, the general idea was to lock down the, what's it called, the agility pyramid, because that's where most people go to get their started cash, and if we're the only ones there, it means we can PK people for their cash, and the rest of the people can just do agility and get their money. So I got on this guy, I, he, he was being attacked earlier, and I just chased him out, chased him down. I had full run with Addy Arrows with a Maple Sherpa because of how high level I was. This guy was only level 20. It took me a while to, you know, kill him because obviously low stats low hitting not the best gear but you can just sort of chase these guys around and kind of bully them he did get close to escaping every now and then but you just kind of chase them around and get kills and you can just keep hitting the hitting people around the agility pyramid and eventually they will run out of food and die if they don't have a telly or they can't get it off quick enough so at, at points of pking i had close up to like 300k in the first hour because i got on some big pks and um me and my friends are really set up well for the rest of the tourney because we wanted to rush DT and get Mage quite early so we could be like Ice Burst PKing maybe day one, Blitz PKing day two, Barrage PKing day three, stuff like that. So that starting cash really helped us out quite a bit. So this first guy I was on was actually pretty smart because he had a Chronicle on him. A lot of the other people who we killed for a lot of the money didn't even bring a Telly. They thought they were going to be safe at the Agility Pyramid. This guy was pretty smart. He was trying to get an Alligator to aggro me so he could get his Telly off. But I kept spam clicking him and he just didn't do it correctly and didn't get enough space for me. I just ran out of food. So I did manage to kill him. He tried dropping his cash in desperation. You could see him chasing him over the bridge here. I thought he was going to get gapped for a second and maybe uh, get out. So I put it on long range and he ran out of run anyway. So I would have caught up with him. Here you can see he drops his cash deck, and actually pyramids drop, uh, turn to cash as well. So you can see he drops a cash deck there, I go to pick it up, it's 20k, and then as he dies he already already had a pyramid top on him, so that's another 10k on the ground. And it's like 32k cash right from the beginning, and we just kept on PKing. Here in the next clip you can see I'm chasing some guy around this level 20. We had a, a, loads of PKers just chasing people around the pyramid, so anybody who wasn't with us was just going to die, and just going to feed us more and get us more GP which would be so great for us doing DT and other quests, so we could PK throughout the tournament. So yeah, we were pretty much PKing right from the beginning uh, for a couple hours, and then we decided, okay, it's time to go beast out the quest, it's time to go beast out DT, so we left the pyramid with our money, we had loads and loads of money, and we went and did Priest and Para really quickly, so we could get our prayer, so I went and got 43 prayer through the Ecto Functus. I think I needed like, I was already 22 prayer or some shit, so I only needed like 15 or 16 Dragon Moons, and those uh, Dragon Moons now drop two per kill, so those weren't expensive at all, and obviously we had all the money, so we were absolutely fine. In that department, we got 43 prayer really quickly. Then it was time to do other quests, we went and do Death Plateau. Last time I did Death Plateau, I actually got cleaned by the guy you're meant to gamble with because I forgot to bring one of the drinks. Funny story. Then we went and did Troll Stronghold, which is the next part, with the starter stuff. It's really nice that they added the starter kits. And we just kept the beasting that quest here. We did Druidic Ritual, got our 4 Herblore, then we got 10 Herblore for the Dig Site. Then we went into the dig site, a very long and you know tedious quest if you have to keep running back and forth. But eventually we did uh, do it. It didn't honestly take that long. And I did think I was going to get PK'd while doing it. But surprisingly enough, there weren't that many PKers at the dig site, which was very, very surprising. Then uh, I think I went and did the tourist trap where last where last tourney I actually got PK'd by a guy with DDS and snares. I think he was from Fools and Fools aren't doing this tourney. So I luckily did not get killed by some guy with the Dragon Daggers. Because obviously there's no swapping in this tourney, I couldn't just swap over and get my shit back like the last tourney. I don't know, what do you guys think about the whole swapping situation? I'm not really sure. 
Then I went and got Waterfall, that also got me 30 attack and 30 strength, and I think we had finished all the DT Precrest, apart from Temple of Ikov. Temple of Ikov was being uh, camped by some PKers, so we just left it to last till the, when they were gone, and we managed to do Temple of Ikov, and now it's time to do the actual quest, Desert Treasure. So I was actually doing DT with another friend, and he had this like 300 IQ strategy of how to save spot both of them at the same time. I didn't know this because I'm a very big, you know, noob. All I do is PK on 07 at 44s, so I didn't know this. We went and got the smoke diamond out, out of the way really quickly. It's probably the easiest diamond we had to do, and then we moved on. So this part where you know where you need the like 50 plus lock picks to uh, get the little cross. I'm sure you guys have done it before. You usually never get lucky and need a lot more than 50. Me and my friend had eight between us. That's right, we had 16 in total, and I'll just let you guys watch the clip. I just got it on my first try. You're trolling. So yeah, the guy I was doing it with actually got the cross on the first try, and that was the luckiest shit I've ever seen. Last 20 took me like 60 lockpicks. Anyway, I didn't get mine on my first eight, but we went and pickpocketed some more, and I actually ended up getting mine on my very, very last lockpick, which is insanely lucky for the both of us. Two. One. I did it. Yep, yeah, I got it. So after that, we went and did the damage safe spot really quickly using some bats so we didn't get hit at all. It was, uh, I've done this before and I never knew about the safe spots. I got like, I got hit quite a bit. Had to bring loads of prayer pots because it actually drains your prayer. Anyway, we did this really quickly. I think we were some, one of the first people to do DT, if I'm going to be honest, because uh, we were just so, we had everything ready just from PKing right at the start. So I think that was a really smart idea by us to start PKing just to get GP to supply us throughout the day to do all the quests and start trading as well after we finish the quest. So we got that diamond really quickly and moved on. Then it was time to do Desus, which is probably the hardest one. It hits you constant uh, fives using the method I'm doing where you don't use prayer. Uh, my friend actually dropped some mage gear for me and we did use wind blast for this as it almost got us completely out of food. It's quite the, sk it's the I think it's the hardest one to do to be honest and we did manage to do it. I had like five sharks left when I got it. And then the only diamond we had to get left was the ice one. So we say spotted for each other again for uh, the ice diamond and we killed the camel really quick. <laughs> the camel. We killed camel really quickly, and then we went up and freed the parents and got our ice diamond. And now we just had to run through the pyramid, and DT was done. And I think at this point of the stage where we were just killing camel, I think it was 11 or 12 hours in. So a very early start, even though we were PKing for the first couple hours. So here we finished the maze, we'd given all our diamonds in, and this was actually the 12 hour, 40 minute mark. Even though we were PKing for about, I don't know, the first two to three hours, we still managed to catch up with the quest and get it done pretty quickly. And now I was just trying to train up so we could get PKing. While I was doing the waterfall quest, I also did the two prerequisites for uh, Monkey Madness, which are the Grand Tree and Trino Stronghold. I was going to do Monkey Madness eventually and for a D skim so I could try bird PK. So I just did those really quickly and that got me quite a few uh, attack and strength levels for melee. And uh, yeah, it was just another two quests I beasted out really quickly. After that, I got Animal Magnetism done because obviously PKing early game is very expensive and you want to save those bolts. Also, training with it would be very nice and it has some rage bonus. All right, about to kill this little jungle demon thingy majiggy from Monkey Madness. Fun stuff. God, do I love this quest. I thought he was dead. That was actually really easy. Oh, wait, is there another form or something? I don't know how this works. Why is there an arrow? Well, I have to talk to Grigor. Sick. We figured it out eventually, went and finished the quest and claimed our reward. We got some defense and we got like 46 defense out of it. Pretty nice stats. So in the first 24 hours, or first 20 hours in fact, we had MM done and we had DT done, which is really nice. So as it stands right now, it is 23 hours into uh, the Dead Man Mode tournament. I took a little three hour nap, but apart from that, I haven't really slept. I was, I was hoping my stats look a little bit better, but with no swapping, everything is just a little slower. So I've finished Monkey Madness, I've finished DT, I've, you know, I've done, I've beasted out all the, all, the, all the quests I need to do. I do need to do Lost City eventually for the Dragon Dagger. I'm not going to be PKing with melee right away anyway. So what my goal right now is to do is I'm just going to get some defense levels up. I'm going to, I'm going to get some attack levels up. Maybe get the requirements to go into Warrior's Guild. I just want the 50 attack for the Ancient Staff. Then I'm going to get like 60 defense. After that, I'm going to get Blitz. And then I think I'm going to PK. So day two's video should be all PKing. Today, you know, we did some early PKing to get that starter cash. Then we just have to beast out all these quests so we could PK throughout the week while they weren't being camped. Stuff like that. So we should have Ice Blitz PKing out for day two. Day two is like going to start in an hour from now, technically. So we're just going to, you know, get A2 Mage in a little bit, beast that out. Obviously, there are people running around with a lot higher stats than us PKing, so we will have to try and avoid them. You know, kill the free loot and try and stay away from the really fed PKers. But we should be able to make a decent bit of money. So if you guys did enjoy this video and you are looking forward to tournament PKing, 
make sure you are subscribed. Uh, like the video if you guys didn't enjoy. I know it's kind of progress, but you know, I think some of you guys like it seeing the demo run. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, peace.